Hello, today we're looking at LXLE 16.4.2, the stable release. It was released about Friday last week, today is Monday day the 10th, so it's pretty new. And as you can see, they've changed the locking screen the same as the default screen, and man, it's a quick, quick login. As you can see here is, you can keep track here. The task manager, wow, that's very cool. They've changed, so, yeah, so that is already a big change. It's not like the the familiar task manager just to see what's running, you can see here. So it's already a big change from the RC release, which is cool. It's, as you can see, it's 195 megabytes of a 2 gigabyte RAM and the CPU is basically not being used at all. I'm running an i5 CPU and I'm running this in Waterbox and you can see it's super fast. And this is the battery. Language switches, if you have more than one language, internet, Wi-Fi will also be here. As I'm running it on Waterbox, I can't show you the Wi-Fi, volume, Yes, the calendar, pretty normal. Weather forecast, I love this weather forecast in the terminal. As you can see, they put a lot more things. It looks like a terminal. And most probably is a terminal. And it's great to use it. It's just like super, super fast. Yeah, love it. And yes, the time and time and date settings. Unlock it and change it. I made my time zone in in America just to make it all English because I'm actually based in Russia as you could have seen by my weather. And it's a nice launcher to have. So there's a library of this writer. It takes a while to load but that's a normal library of this thing. This is icon theme, Python 3.2.2, so it's the latest and greatest of library office, which is awesome today. Even though this is based on Ubuntu 16.4, they don't go for the same version of library office, which is based on Ubuntu 16.4.2, but they gave us the latest and greatest of library office, which is absolutely awesome. Here's a terminal, you can check the kernel quickly. It's kernel 4.4. It makes sense. Yes, the wallpaper changer. It is. I love this wallpaper paper changer. There's so many options. You can just press, 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 press every day until you find one or a few which you really enjoy. Let's take this one. And the file system. I love this file system that is opens up here. If you create a new directory in your terminal, like, say, Test 101. You can, you will be able to see this directory right here. It is so cool that everything, not just the default ones, is here. It's very lightweight operating system, very fast. You can see the menu bar is nice. We've got nice apps installed, like simple screen recorder, which I'm using to record this video. And all the city, which I'm also to using to record my sound. Education. Games. Got quite a lot of games. Graphics. Internet. They use Mozilla Bird or Seamonkey, so not Firefox, but a very similar browser, if you're not familiar with it. Library Office, we already looked at it. Control menu. They don't have like a control center, so they just got these like little apps, which as you see monkey just opened up here. It's quite nice. And they got GDP already pre-installed, they got the Lubuntu software center. They got a lot of software centers. GDP is a very nice app to install their packages from the internet. If you check for updates, 
let's type in the password. As you can see, it basically put all the terminals into one frame. And this whole bar is like icons. If you have one, it will take it for place. If you have more, it will make it smaller, 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 smaller. So you can see I have no updates to install because it's a fresh install of LXLE. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love this menu bars. And you can run the program like a command from here. So let's run, let's open up Odyssey. Oh, oh, does it? But he hasn't heard the commands you want to run. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't work. As you just saw. Yeah. And if we go now to the last one here, search, you can search in your home folder. Any part of your computer you can see. It's pretty simple stuff. And here you can make icons easy like this. You can go to, let's say, you want the internet icon at the bottom. Just add and you can add and you can move them around. It works pretty cool stuff. And of course you can just, let's take it again. Whatever I want to do. And of course you can make mistakes also. <laughs> you can add to the list of ones. So you can't drag, but you can add. It is absolutely fine. It's using it's all the options, the task minute. Oh, this just task minute. Let's close them. It's LX panel because it's LXCE and the cool thing is to displace on Ubuntu and just look here at everything 16.4 so it will be supported until 2021 but then you can already have updated to a different version you, we can look at different desktops, workstations oh let me open up some files quickly because this is pretty cool some random apps and if you click here it's pretty cool how it gives you everything on your desktop this is open and then let's go to the panel you can create new folders new files select all select inverse select and sort files desktop and yes all the different desktop survey the pictures this week switch around here if you don't press this button to change the desktop you won't get them all yet here you first then you have to move yourself to this place but it's very cool stuff and easy to do and yeah I like Alexi E 16.4.2 very much stable you have to, I couldn't just update my RC of 16.4.2 and have it there. I had to do the whole upgrade, fresh install, but it's absolutely worth it. I slide weighted, as you can see, it's easy to use and definitely worth, worth considering for a light weighted operating system. It's a, Absolute, absolute good option. Thank you for watching and goodbye.